hello guys welcome back for another cleaning video and as you can tell by the title and as you see on the pictures i was right in my previous video we got the rain and the cold weather back because i put away all the winter clothes <laughs> Since it's a rainy day, I decided that I'm going to tackle a little bit of organizing uh, today and also I'm going to share with you a few things that I prepared throughout the day. preparing some apples and carrots for juicing and also I'm going to serve some lettuce from my garden. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised for this very early harvest but I think the greenhouse helped a lot. Cause that is what my heart says This is what my heart says I wanna be with you always Always, yeah You are my world in every place I've got a question in the comments how I clean my mixer and either I put some water in there with some dish soap and I just turn it on or I use my brush this is my absolute ultimate favorite brush and the next question I got if my brush loses hair and I ordered five so far two of them are losing the hair other three didn't but overall it didn't affect how it worked but I want you close. If you don't want your cutting board to bend, uh, the secret to it, when you wash it, make sure to make wet on both sides. And I've been doing this for years and this is something that Jod taught me <laughs> and it's been working amazing. So since then I don't have any cutting board that has a bend on it. Just 
There's a very easy way to clean the stainless steel and it will stay nice for a longer time. First I just clean it with some all-purpose cleaner that I have the recipe down below in the description box and then after when it's dry I use some fractionated coconut oil. I have all the links in my Amazon store. I gathered everything there for you guys if you want the same but this is basically just a very simple fractionated coconut oil and I just put a generous amount on that and I just rub it in after a few minutes I just wipe off all the extra oil on it and just basically I just polish it and it will look like a brand new I prefer to stay on top of the laundry by doing a load a day or at least every second day and the things that makes it easier usually I'm folding just the pants and the t-shirts and all those other items just will go on hangers I have a very nice blue apron but I couldn't wear it because it was too big and I've been procrastinating to fix it and today is the day. <laughs> that was just the beginning of the disaster <laughs> so as I tried it to fix I had a back and forth should I fix it the right way or should I just go with the lazy way so I started out <laughs> by making the good way so I started to you know just go into deep like how to fix it properly and I realized that I would have to take apart the half of the apron so I thought let's just go with the simple way but that was too thick 
for my little old um, washing machine, <laughs> sewing machine, and it just couldn't handle it, so I ended up fix it and sew it by hand. Most of the times it's not the project itself that makes me procrastinate, it's more like <laughs> just pulling out everything and just plug in the sewing machine and finding the scissors and just you know all those things just to make the setup. So that's why I was dragging this one but it was a nice feeling afterwards that I got it done. We had some leftover meat for my older son, but my younger son and I, we have this as a favorite, it's a roll. And to make the noodles in there perfect, I don't cook them, I just pour over some hot water and just put a lid on it and let it sit for a while. Then I'm going to rinse it off with some cold water. And that's the secret to not to overcook and not to undercook, it's gonna be just perfect. I 
I've been doing a uh, fine adjusting to my organizing system these days and the longer we live in this house the more I learn how we use it and this shelf I had these two cute baskets that I love very much but I put it there to put things in there but I don't have anything in there so it doesn't make sense to keep it there <laughs> so I'm going to look another space in the house where I can have a better use of it and over here I'm just going to dust a little bit Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Looks like the weather can't make up its mind and we are having the same weather today. One minute is sunshine, the other minute we just have a pouring down rain. <laughs> When I freeze some baked goods, I like to slice them before I put them into the freezer, but uh, it didn't happen this time, so <laughs> um, well, we weren't really sad that we had to, you know, defrost the whole thing because we ate it all. While it was warming up, I started to tackle the shelves above it and I showed you those um, colorful washing cloth i mean at least i'm using for washing it because one of my subscribers tammy sent it to me and i just wanted to say thank you so much she ordered some she didn't like that much so she sent it to me and i've been using them this is something that um you're supposed to use uh, on your skin on your back and it's a long strip but i love to use this as washing the dishes because it dries really fast but some people you know they don't they don't like to touch that type of fabric it's kind of like you know it's not a cotton one it's just a synthetic one and since i was working on to move some of the cleaners under the sink i decided i'm going to mix some baking soda with some tangerine oil and i'm just going to put in the bottle so it will be ready when I want to use it. This is what I like to use to clean my kitchen sink. I ended up 
collecting all the cleaners on today's tray that I'm going to keep under the sink. So I was getting to the end of this little organizing when I decided that very spontaneously that I'm gonna visit the farmer's market that we have in the nearby little town. It's pretty early into the season but I was able to score some nice things, some raw honey, some spinach and strawberries. This is red inside and soft and just flavorful so we were so excited to eat that. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and I just want to say thank you so much for watching until the end and I so appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much and I will see you guys soon. Bye!